that might interest you. Um, what do you think? I love that new house smell. Shreya, what do you think? It smells a little like my aunt's apartment when she bought it a few years ago. Her kid ended up getting this terrible asthma. Interesting. Well, it's about $300,000 total. How I'll take sell? it. <laughs> Excellent. Anna, I got a new apartment. You should totally come by. Totally, I'll come by tomorrow. The next day. So this is my new apartment. <coughs> wow! Oh my gosh, look at you those drawers. Are those new pressed wood? Yes, it is. <gasps> oh my gosh! And look at that gas stove and your makeup collection. It's superb. I know, right? <coughs> Did you just cough on my makeup, you disgusting rat? <laughs> I have a burning sensation, shortness of breath, and nausea. <laughs> I don't care, I'm gonna live here for 10 years. <laughs> Speaking of which, should I get a pet rat? Eventually. test came back. Charlene tested positive for stage 5 nasal and lung cancer. But it does seem kind of unusual to suddenly get stage 5 nasal and lung cancer, especially since it says here it doesn't run in the family. Maybe I should look at this case in more detail. From what Charlene told me, she just got a new apartment. Wait, I remember learning about this chemical in college that might help this case. Let me pull out my notes. Okay. My notes say that this chemical is a colorless, flammable, strong-smelling chemical that is used in building materials and to produce many household products. When the chemical is present in the air at levels exceeding 0.1 parts per million, some individuals may experience adverse effects such as watery eyes, burning sensations in the eyes, nose, and throat, coughing, wheezing, nausea, and skin irritation. So it seems like this chemical mostly affects the nose and lungs of the respiratory system and the skin. Oh look, it says here that in 1980, laboratory studies show that long-term exposure to this chemical could cause nasal cancer in rats. The chemical also presented mutagenic effects in rats in which the sperm morphology was changed. So if Charlene was exposed to this chemical, I bet it was because she just moved into her new apartment. It says here the chemicals levels are higher in new manufactured wood products such as flooring and furniture. Other sources of the chemical also include cosmetic products and vapes. I should let her know. Meanwhile, back in the lowlands. I love you so much. You're so strong and powerful. I can't wait to see you experience motherhood. Push, push, push. <coughs> I'm so proud of you. Hello all. Thank you all for coming to my rat party, celebrating the birth of Ratatina and Ratonio's children. Chuck E. Cheese, Julius Cheeser, Ratness Everdeen, Ratunzel, Rat Damon, Raticus, Ratso, Ratman, and Kamala Harris. You guys are my Woo! best friends, and I wouldn't have wanted to share this incredible special moment with anyone else. Wow, this fur is so soft. These rat babies are beautiful. Can I look at Julie's teaser for a second? I like a little bit more. Is it possible some of the rats a little more? That can't be possible. Ratina and Ratonia are perfect parents. Maybe it's a mutagenic effect from the... in the air. Oh, rats! <laughs> 